Ah. Wow, would you look at that. It's <coughs> beautiful. beautiful. What's up, crew? Welcome to an in-betweener episode. Uh, I don't know how to start these anymore. What's up, crew? Happy holidays and uh, happy new year. One negative to living right next to the airport. Obviously, getting to the airport is much quicker than most people but you get airplanes every single. What's up crew, welcome to another video. My name is John Connie, AKA Big Man Syndrome, and if you're not a part of the crew yet, well, consider joining us soon. 2019 is gonna be the year. I actually need to record a new trailer because the current one is Vlogmas related. We'll do that in a minute. I wanted to do a quick video. It's December 26th, day after Christmas, and I wanted to share some of the uh, awesome gifts that I got from Sarah, Sarah's family. I haven't gotten anything from my mom yet. I think it's coming in the mail, got hung up in the delivery process. I'm gonna kick things off with uh, my new microphone, which is super exciting. Currently, I'm recording with the top mic on the camera and what I would normally use um, that's still going to be my microphone for day-to-day -day vlogging, but when I sit down in this position here or I'm recording for clients, I'm going to take this guy out and it is the Audio-Technica. It's just a more powerful, larger condenser mic and super excited to use it. I've already sort of tested it out a little bit, uh, but this is also going to serve as a better uh, handheld microphone with that fluffy guy on it for funny interviews uh, that I might try to produce for clients. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to that microphone now and you could probably hear a difference. If not, I'll probably edit that out. Double diffusion, that's not bad. That should just be a little bit cleaner and higher quality. So I'm super excited about that. Can't wait to put that thing to use. Next, really quickly, we got this guy behind me. You might've noticed this blue screen. It's also a green screen. You can flip it around. It's two-sided, which is super awesome. Uh, that way, I guess if you're using green attire or using something that is green you can flip it around for that a lot of you saw the Street Fighter video that I made and saw how rough the rotoscoping was or the cutout of me that could have been fixed if I had a blue or green screen behind me because the white screen when something was overexposed it made it hard for the software to, to differentiate between me and the background so when you have blue or green which is typically a color that you don't have on or that you know ends up on you, uh, you can easily cut it out. Not only that, but I do want to stream gaming at some point and I want to be able to cut myself out and do what some of the professional streamers are doing and that's have just them, as little of them as possible or what they're filming and then most of the game. So that's kind of exciting. One more camera thing and that is the old 50 millimeter FE Sony lens. So really excited about this one. Uh, I've needed a new 50 millimeter lens. I do have the nifty 50 from Canon. I've uh, been using that with the Metabones adapter. The one issue with that is that there is very uh, non-useful autofocus and it makes a lot of noise. It actually makes even more noise when it's hooked up to the Metabones. It was already a noisy lens. And then I also have a Camlan 50 millimeter lens, which is really, really cool, but it is all manual and it's also a crop lens. So technically it should only really be used on the a6500. Luckily the a7R3 does crop down to that uh, lens and I can use it. It's just not as convenient and um, it is a 1.1 F though or T. So it's pretty awesome to get down to that, you know, that depth of field. But for more practical use for stuff like out in the field or when I'm shooting here and I want a talking head, but I want mostly just my, my head talking, not my body, I can pop this guy on and get really, really awesome depth of field since it's a 1.8 aperture. I'm gonna go ahead and toss that thing on so that you can see the difference. And there you go, a little bit more depth of field as you can see the, uh, I'm looking at the monitor trying to point. The barn wood is a little bit more blurry and the blue, you can't really tell because it's blue shade. So a little bit more blurry as well. And this is at a 1.8 aperture. Super exciting because I am building my arsenal of Sony lenses. The airplane is back. Holy hell, in a hand basket. So it is super exciting because I'm building my arsenal of Sony lenses. They are native to the camera, which means they're gonna work as optimal as possible. There are definitely other lenses that I wanna look into that are cinema, cinema lenses that are definitely cheaper than some of these Sonys. But now I have the 16 to 35 GM 2.8 F lens as well as the 85 uh, 1.8 F. So it's the same aperture as this. Uh, and I do was using this to sort of create that great depth of field. I actually forgot that I put that on my list and when I opened it up, I was like, oh shoot, a, a lens? All right. So super excited. 
another thing that I can't wait to actually like put into hard use, which I'm currently doing, which is super cool. Something fitness related, which has been kind of void from this video. And since it's a fitness channel, you gotta at least have one thing that's fitness related. I got this uh, game. So really funny, two years ago, I got the wad dice. This year I got uh, high interval intensity training, the game, hit the game which is essentially just a box full of cards and there's some dice. I think you roll the dice and that dice tells you what type of card to pull. Um, and it's just really two decks full of movements and uh, it's almost like another set of cards that's like Uno. You know, you can draw two or you skip or something like that. It's a really interesting game that I can't wait to like kind of mess around with. And Sarah's pretty excited about this too because there's a lot of general movements in here, not necessarily CrossFit related, uh, like, you know, Russian twist with the ball. And there's just a huge bank of movements in here that she can use whenever she's just like you know not feeling the program or just wants to get a quick workout in got this little guy so now we have two options of just random wad making which is super exciting and then last but not least Sarah got me something pretty awesome and I don't have it on here because it's really big is a Yeti cooler I never owned a an awesome cooler and I didn't even have this on my list I didn't even think about wanting something like this but Sarah got it and I'm pretty freaking stoked and something else that came with it she said was a free gift which is so dope I mean, uh, this is probably the best free gift I've ever seen come with something. It is a half gallon Yeti uh, Rambler, you know, cause I ramble so much. But this thing, like I filled it up yesterday and it had, you know, ice and cold water in it. And literally all the way through until about 3 p.m., 4 p.m. when I finished it, it was still as cold as it was when it went in. So I'm pretty excited about that because the Hydro Flask that I have, doesn't have enough layers so after long enough the water inside just sort of goes to room temperature and then the other gripe i have about that one is that this one had does not have a problem with is the the spot where you drink the water there's no threads on the outside and then the threads on the inside are somewhat deep so you don't really notice them there um, it's still a big mouth which is kind of annoying because it's easier to spill but it's not i don't think it's as big as the hydro flask which yeah makes it not spill. I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. I gotta stop making these random videos. That's gonna be it. That's what we got for Christmas. Super excited about everything that I have now. Really, really stoked about this microphone. I can't wait to just put it through the ringer because I, I've i wanted a good professional microphone for a while. And when I did this video with SPS Gym during their rite of passage meet that had somebody walking around with a microphone here, the one that I have just wasn't working well. And somehow settings got messed up in the recorder. I don't know if it was because of the mic that was plugged in, but even when it was correct, it wasn't really picking up audio well enough. And she had to like turn it a certain way when she was talking to it and handing it to someone. This one, as long as the tip is pointed towards the person, you're going to hear it perfectly. So I cannot wait to use it in the future. I have a client that I'm trying to pitch that idea to, and I hope they, I hope they decide to use it. That's going to be it. I probably went for way too long. I've been recording for 16 minutes, which isn't that bad. It's a lot to cut out, but thought I'd share with you what I got for Christmas. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new, join the crew. And if you're not new, tap and go that like button, leave a comment, share this video. Those are the things that help grow the crew. And until tomorrow, it's no longer Vlogmas. And until New Year's, I'll see you later, crew. Happy freaking New Year. I'll see you later, crew. <laughs> Gotta edit some stuff. <laughs>